Uh, we talked briefly yesterday. Can you talk a little bit more about the subject we talked about? And that's the connection between cancer and the immune system. Sure. Talk about that a little bit and how much they're connected and what that means about either prevention or a treatment. Cancer is probably one of the most troubling diseases when a person is told they have cancer. And the reality is that the biggest factor is your own body's immune system. Really, we have a very sophisticated immune system to challenge and to take on and to control or minimize because most people develop cancer several times during their lifetime. The fact is that the immune system is generally strong enough and capable enough to eradicate or slow or abate or keep the cancer contained. What I mean by contained, the cancer might become a tumor. And the biggest concern is that the tumor itself may multiply at a very uh, rhythmic rate and after 20 years it's only about the size of a pea, say if it's in the breast. Uh, after that point it can multiply and grow rather rapidly because the duplication rate based on its size. So the immune system really plays the biggest role. The immune system is dependent on a number of factors. For example, if you're understanding how to restore nitric oxide, the white blood cells depend on a large concentration, almost a thousand times more concentrated in the white blood cells than in the general circulation. And nitric oxide is the molecule that in 1994, Lou Ignario won the Nobel Prize talking about the discovery of nitric oxide and its relationship to uh, sexual function and to intimal wall thickening and the body's heart circulation. But it really a, plays a huge role in the, uh, the defense system of the white blood cells. That is when the white blood cells come up against a foreign body such as cancer or a foreign protein, uh, the body will release a large amount of this nitric oxide and help to destroy the foreign invader. Uh, what we find is that most people are depleted in nitric oxide. That's number one factor. So we just simply have to take in plant-rich foods that are high in plant nitrates. Beets are one of the best. Kale, Swiss chard, arugula, all these spinach, all these are great. So it's interesting that uh, there are uh, certainly food choices to make and also there's foods to avoid. For example, oils deplete nitric oxide seriously. Uh, that is concentrated separated oils from the whole food like coconut oil or olive oil. Uh, all these oils are going to be interfering with nitric oxide. And last, you can take supplements that restore nitric oxide, uh, certainly organic beet based uh, various tablets that you can use. But these things have been shown to be very effective. That's number one. The, the immune system is also dependent on the quality of your hormonal balance. And we know that testosterone is very important in the battle against cancer. And unfortunately, there's a dominant hormone that comes on the scene called estrogen. And so most men are struggling as they get older. A 50-year-old man may have more estrogen concentration in his body than a 25-year-old female menstruating uh, individual. So the fact is that men become more feminized partly because of endocrine disruptors. There's toxins, there's chemicals, chemicals, there's plastics, uh, even uh, cash receipts, when you touch them they have estrogen uh, mimics, there are fire retardants in the bedding uh, by law, and so we're exposed constantly and the biggest exposure of estrogen comes from animal-based foods. Animal-based foods are largely because they have menstrual cycles, we're eating their estrogen. If we drink their milk, their uh, Harvard study showed there's 33 times more estrone sulfate in milk than there is in say almond milk. So the reality is that we are are overloading the body and it suppresses the immune system. Uh, another factor was dis discovered a number of years ago was that cholesterol, uh, when it concentrates at very high levels, not the cholesterol that the body produces because the body needs cholesterol, every cell of the body can make cholesterol, but exogenous, that, that comes in from the external uh, diet, that excess cholesterol tends to, if it elevates the concentration of cholesterol in the body, it paralyzes the immune system. There's studies showing that uh, individuals with lung cancer who had the highest cholesterol level have the highest incidence of death related to lung cancer. It wasn't even tied into cigarette smoking. It was more related to the cholesterol level, according to Dr. Jeremiah Stamler of the famous Chicago uh, study. So we really know the immune system plays the biggest role, but there's a lot of factors that either support a healthy immune system or depress the immune system and in this case it's everything when it comes to cancer.